I sing sing like the Grand Prix. She Yo, what's up? So a couple of weeks ago, I saw uh, Skepta, uh, Chipmunk, and uh, I got some coke on my sisters. I got a gun on my brother's crew. And they had some really cool rotating clips that sort of split and come back and split. Boy, don't sleep in the trap house, nah, no, that's risky. Like, I thought that was really cool, and I thought I'd show you guys how to do that effect on uh, Final Cut Pro. So. Step one. So first you want to scroll through your uh, actual footage to see where's a good place to put it. Step two. And then add markers according to the music, according to the beat, uh, where you're going to start and where you're going to finish. Step three. I've got the players where it goes. Doom. Doom. Do you know what I mean? So you have to, in your head, you have to visualize it. So once you've got your clip, add the mask. So add a draw mask. So you just go into your um, effects, type in draw, and you should see draw mask. Slide that on that bad boy. Make that square, so dots through the video. Um, not square, sorry, rectangle, but dots through the video, just to make sort of like a rectangle. Make sure there's a diagonal there, just to add some flavors and character. Step four. So what you want to do is duplicate the clip by just pressing option, click and drag. So option, click and drag it over the top. You toggle the draw mask off the one on the bottom. Step five. Let's say this is your marker and that's the beat, that's the doom. You want the split to sort of come away from the footage during the lifetime of that bass drop. So boom is boom, boom. Do you know what I mean? Instead of like boom. You want it to be like boom. I don't know if that makes sense, but hey, we're gonna roll with it. So at the start of each marker, you wanna place a uh, keyframe. See that there are two uh, markers, one on the top and one on the bottom. So for the top clip, um, for both clips, it's actually the same. So you just start your um, your points there, your, your keyframes. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you move a couple of frames in. So here you can see I moved like four or five frames to the lifetime of the beat. And um, I increased the size by eight on the top. And I think it's similar on the bottom. So by, sorry, 108% on the on the bottom as well. Just so there's a pump effect. We then move on to the next marker. So when you reach that next marker, you increase, you, you put it back to normal. So then I put it back to 100 on the top. Uh, and a hundred on the bottom, right? I only moved the scale, but this is also where I wanted the beat to sort of separate the uh, clip. So I moved a couple frames there. So you can see that I moved only a couple frames here. And now the, the clip is split. So you can see that's five degrees, uh, 110. All, all the parameters are changed on the top and on the bottom they're simply changed in the opposite direction. So minus two, 109, and I didn't move the size at all. If you rotated five degrees that way, you wanna rotate five degrees the other way or three degrees the other way on the bottom clip so that it's splitting away from each other rather than moving in unison, which is not the effect we're going for. We're going for a separation effect. We then go to the next marker where there's minus four. So it's a slow, gradual return back to um, normality, 110 from I think 109 um, and on the uh, on the other top marker you can see that there's a uh, 7% rotation and 121% scale increase um, you then move a couple of frames inside there and you can see that it returns back to normal so all the parameters are the same as beginning obviously the clip I used had black bars and I've kind of kind of augmented those black bars so I just put on the letterbox effect after I compounded both of the top layer and the bottom layer um, and then added the black bars the uh, letterbox effect back on there so yeah there you go that's it right there so that's the effect hope you liked it if you want I have got a uh, plug-in for that effect although I would say it works a lot better uh, if you do it in Final Cut Pro yourself, but if you need the plugin, please uh, find it in the description below So I should have some sort of link to it or my email if you want to email me for anything um, Yeah